The Fun List on Ozarks Live is brought to you by Latour Asset Management. Well, got my jacket because it's going to be chilly in there. You ready to go down into Fantastic Caverns? Absolutely. And this is like one of the best ways to do it, which is in the Jeep. Especially if I'm driving. No, it's just a prop, though. It's a, it's a prop. It's a prop. But you can get your picture taken. That's a nice way to start the tour. So I'll step out, give them a big smile, and let's go see Fantastic Caverns. It's not a prop if I have the keys. Oh! We were discovered in 1862 by a dog. So we are still pet friendly to this day. Um, it was about five years later that 12 women explored the cave and their names still remain on the wall today. And so we started doing our all riding cave experience back in 1962, about a hundred years after the discovery. But we've been showcasing the cave ever since its discovery and just doing it in a variety of different ways. excited. I haven't done this since I was a kid. I haven't done this for years either and what a great, I mean what a great way to see a cave. We sit here, they take us through the cave. I know, you don't have to do anything. No. Just look around. I love it. Now Joy, I know you're a geologist. Yes, in my it. spare time. In mm -hmm. your spare time. What is the difference, can you tell me, between a stalactite and a stalagmite? That I do know. See, I knew she knew. The stalactites hang from the ceiling because they have to hang on tight. Stalagmites are the ones down here, correct? That's it. You can't put one by on Joy, that's true. And this, I mean, you have the little stalactites and stalagmites, and then it takes, I don't even know how many years it takes to even form one of the small ones. But it's all about the dripping water. You might even be able to hear it around us right now or see some of it on my coat. <laughs> that's why I wore a raincoat. Yeah. What's nice about this tour is also it's not just look, oh look, oh look, it we learn things here. Right, oh yeah. You, know, you have it expert is. guides and everything who can explain and answer questions. Sure. Now the ascent to the missile silo. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love caves like this. Now no, you're love not it. gonna get me into one where I'm crawling on my belly or anything right, like that. But, but this is this is a great way to see it. This is fantastic. And and you know the thing that we've already found out is just all that you can learn about how it formed, some of the animals that may have been down here, mm -hmm. plants, how the Ozarks, I mean it, it just it, it gives you an idea of how the Ozarks became what the Ozarks is right now. This is the pit. You can hear, that's, you're hearing the center of the earth down there. Just this pit. Sounds like a Joy Jeep. Man, that's a, yeah. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hi! Hello, everybody. Hey! hey. hey. Did you lose Good. anybody? All right. Count heads. Coat can come off now. Yeah. It's warm again. <laughs> you finally get out of the controlled air conditioning uh -huh. of a cave. That was fascinating. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? That's another one of those things. You see some beautiful things. You learn some really incredible things as well. I mean, you learn what groundwater is all about and what it can do in certain areas of the Ozarks. And this is just like a couple minutes outside of Springfield. They found a shark's tooth in there at one time. And what did they say, that Missouri was below the equator? Well, at one time, yeah. We, we, you have to know the plate tectonics thing, you know, uh, with Pangea and this, that, and the other thing. And it moves, and now Missouri's not under the equator. It's above the equator by quite a bit. Well, check that one off the fun list, because that is worth doing. That is a lot of fun. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. What a great name for a cavern. The Fun List on Ozarks Live was brought to you by Latour Asset Management.